Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Alfa Lutfi Nadia. Here I would like to explain about phonological processes and I hope you enjoy with my explanation. I will explain five types of phonological processes which are assimilation, dissimulation, insertion, deletion, and metathesis. Number one, assimilation. Assimilation is a process by which one sound becomes more similar to a nearby sound in one or more futures. For example, handbag becomes handbag, planter becomes planner, stand there becomes stander. Okay. Number two, dissimulation. This phonological process occurs when two nearby sounds become less similar to each other in one or more features. For example, the pronunciation of the word chimney as chimney with the change of an to an l. The word colonel which arose out as colonel and in doing so, the segment dissimulated the R to an L. The word February become February. Number three, insertion or epenthesis. Insertion or epenthesis is a process by which one or more sounds are inserted into a word or in between words. For example, in the word ankle, we add the sound a. Uh, and it becomes ankle. In the word hamster, we add the sound p and it becomes hamster. In the word film, we add the sound a and it becomes film. Okay, uh, number four, deletion. This phonological process occurs when a sound is deleted. It's no longer pronounced. For example, in the word camera becomes camera. The word camera becomes camera. So the sound a uh in this word is deleted. In the word family, family becomes family. Family. So, same as the word camera, in this word, the sound a uh, is deleted. Family becomes family. Another example. The word thumb is pronounced thumb, not thumb. Because in this word, the sound b is deleted. Okay. The last is metathesis. The metathesis rule is simply changing the sound of a syllable by swapping the position of a segment as we pronounce the word. For example, ask is commonly pronounced as ask, but in the metathesis case, the sounds become x. The word introduce become introduce. In Latin, the word parabola become palabra in Spanish. Okay, maybe that's all my explanation. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.